Well, hey, thanks for hanging out with me today. I needed to clean my house. It needed a mother's touch. So I decided to call Kim's Cleaning Service at your service and get all the things done. It, I, you know, was it a complete disaster? Probably, yeah. I would say, yeah, I kind of don't remember. It's all a blur. <laughs> at this point, it's already messed up again. It's been five seconds, so you know how that goes. But uh, first things first, I needed to gather my cleaning supplies, and most of them are empty. So these are just like my cleaning bottles, and I have solutions that I throw in them. I, have, I really like Blue Land. But I'm out of the tablets, so I have the, what kind of cleaner is it? Thigh, thrive, thighs cleaner? Thieves? That probably sounds way better. Wolfgang is also trying to nap on me, so if you hear some rumbling, that is that. No big deal, that's my life. So the thieves cleaner, I'm throwing into some of them. And then I have these old uh, concentrates. And those are going to work out for me. Oh, my gosh. And I have a very cool new cleaning product. Yeah. And I fill up one of them, the new cleaning product. It's a window cleaner. And the old owners of the house left behind some cleaning supplies. And they're not cleaning supplies that I typically use, but I feel like, well, I need to use them, right? Like just to get rid of them. I guess I could donate them. I feel like I donated a lot. But here we are with more. And they left this like vinegar Windex and it doesn't have the scent of traditional Windex so I'm all for it and after you clean with like more natural cleaning products for a while going back and smelling like Windex in particular I don't know it is wild and crazy it is so strong like how did I ever use this I remember using it like when I was in high school cleaning and thinking holy cow this smells amazing but now I smell it and I just want to keel over and pass out it's so strong but if you like it I mean obviously people like different things um <laughs> this Windex is more natural I guess because it has vinegar who the heck knows anyway so I got this new cleaning gadget and I'm gonna use that and I'm actually well you'll you'll see how much I love it slash hate it spoiler alert I think it's pretty awesome I think I love it okay all right so I've got that covered now I need to the first thing I'm going to clean is the bathroom and it has been out of like whatever wallflower, I guess. And I only recently started putting in a wallflower here. I'm like natural cleaning products. And then I'm like, oh, let me put a wallflower in. Listen, I got, oh, okay. Short story long. I went to bed, <laughs> bath and be body works, bath and body works. Holy cow. And, um, I had a gift card there. I mean, it's a really long story. So I ended up running into, we initially we, I went there with the two older girls. I may have had a baby with me probably. And I went in because, well, not because, well, I went, who the heck knows? I, oh, that's why. Okay. Okay. Let me get my things straight before I even try to explain it to you. I went to Bed Bath & Body Works. <laughs> okay. We're starting off with a bang. And I had a gift card from Mother's Day. So I thought, you know what? Let's go in there. We'll pick some stuff out. The kids picked out some hand sanitizers and I wanted to get, you know, wallflower for the bathroom in here because sometimes it's just gets a little rank. And, you know, I, even though I feel like I clean this bathroom more than any other place in my entire house, right? It's like the guest bathroom. It's the most accessible bathroom, but also it gets pretty funky. So anyway... I like to have a wallflower in here. Just started doing it, so I don't know if I'll go on and off of it. Are there any like more natural ways to do this? I guess I can get a wall diffuser, but I've had one of those before, and they work absolutely 0% of the time. So <laughs> for now, this is the best option. Okay, so I went to Bath & Body Works and picked out some wallflowers. The kids got some crap, and I was time to check out. Oh, oh, but before that, I ran, we ran into a friend and blah, 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 started talking. So we were checking out and, you know, just talking. And I completely forgot to use my gift card. So I guess I have to go back and uh, get some more stuff. <laughs> but I found this Autumn Woods scent and it was divine. And I guess it's a new scent. They also had a lot of their fall and Halloween scents out already. Yes, I know already. It's like, what day is it? Yeah, they already had them out, and they even had leaves out. So I got leaves. That's like one of their classic fall scents. It's nice, and uh, it's kind of light, but is it apple-y or floral? I don't know. It's 
it is delicious. Mm. Whatever it is, it is beautiful and mm. it's a fan favorite. So, mm. you know, a lot of people like it. And so I grabbed one of those and I, then I grabbed a couple more and they were on sale. So those would have equaled like my gift card, right? Uh, except for I forgot to use it. <laughs> so it's funny. I literally checked out and was like, oh my gosh, I have a gift card. So anyway, I also ended up putting a candle in here too. I never light the candle, but I, you know, it's just a decor piece, I guess. But it's more of a, an interest piece too, because the DW candles, they have some really unique scents. And that's what I love about them. First of all, summertime is almost over and I have yet to find the hot dog candle. Oh, I'm breaking my heart over here. So I hope I find it, I don't know, just randomly or maybe next season. I mean, I could have ordered it offline but it came in a bundle and uh, I don't know I guess I had a lot to think about it and I ended up not doing it anyway I put a buttered popcorn candle in here and took out the fizzy soda the fizzy cola both are amazing so I don't know I just think it's a fun little pop of interest moving on to the window in here this is the door slash window and it was in need of a cleaning so this is the new cleaning product that I got I don't know the proper name of it window vacuum <laughs> I have seen someone use it I don't know if it's on YouTube or Instagram I don't remember at this point I feel like it it was just like a random oh I feel like Instagram but I couldn't tell you if my life depended on it who shared it okay someone that I don't follow super closely but closely enough to be like oh that's very cool so anyway I got this and they were using it saying I don't know was it a cleaning uh channel or cleaning account I can't remember I don't even know why I'm trying to remember it's irrelevant they were using this and I thought you know what that looks pretty cool go clean co has you share something similar but I don't think it's a vacuum it's more of a squeegee and it just catches it. But this is a vacuum-ish type of thing. And I was really impressed with it. The You spray it and then you wipe it with a cloth and then you go in with the vacuum and it just sucks it all up. You guys, I got a lot of windows in this house, okay? And it's, I said, ooh, it smells so good. The autumn woods was amazing. It still is amazing. And I've had multiple people in and out say, ooh, that's a really nice. Scent. I'm trying to show you the inside of this canister. Just from that one little window, that's what it picked up. It looks filthy to me. So I don't know. I feel like it's working. And so it sold right off the get go. Right. And I used it. I have so much, so many windows in this house, so much glass to clean. And I figured, you know what, this is probably a really good device. So I just wanted to try it out. I, f I don't remember how much it was. I could go look. Hold on. Okay. Well, uh, maybe don't get it. You got, I feel like I spent $50 on it. Maybe 52 or whatever. It's on sale right now. 55 ish. The list price is at 70. I would say don't spend more than 55 on it. I don't know. Unless you have extra money to blow. <laughs> I justified it because, well, you know, I keep saying I've got a ton of windows in this place. And then two, it's super simple. And three, I don't know, I got sold off the lady on Instagram. Look how amazing this is. I love it so much. So I don't know. Is it amazing? I love to clean the windows with the, um, oh gosh, the e-cloths. Those are great because they don't require any cleaning solution. And I do feel like uh, that's money saved and it's more natural and, 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 you know what I mean? The kids can use it. It's super simple. They just wax on, wax off kind of thing. But for me, when I'm cleaning all the windows in one fell swoop, I'm like, oh my gosh, my triceps are burning. And plus the kids can't reach the top of the windows. <laughs> oh, it's just a whole thing. So anyway, I ended up just trying out this product, but I really do like the cleaning cloths, the e-cloths. And um, I use those a lot too, but I don't know, for whatever reason, I just wanted to try. It's always fun to try new things out. So I did it and I lived my life and I have no regrets because I really actually ended up loving that thing. So check on me in a couple months to see if I'm still using it, okay? Or if I go back to the equal, I'm sure I'll just, you know, rotate back and forth. Okay, so I've moved on to this linen closet. It was actually on my list of things to do to declutter this thing because every time I come here, for whatever reason, the door's always open to this linen closet. I don't know what the heck. First of all, bifold doors, not great. Why do they exist? I don't, I guess they're like space saving. I don't really know. Uh, I'm drowning in cloths. I have so many towels that I don't use. And I'm like, I need to go through these and just get rid of the ones that I don't use. There's a whole brown bin at the top. I don't even reach it. I might as well get rid of everything in there because I never 
grab it, right? If I can't reach it, I don't use it. But then the stuff that I do use is being shoved into these three brown bins in the middle, not to be confused with the brown bin up top. And it, they're, sho- they're so shoved full of stuff that I can't even get what I'm looking for, you know? So I'm decluttering them, getting rid of a lot of the stuff that I don't use, the stuff that has stains or the stuff that I, it just doesn't clean or work as well as other cloth. You know, not all towels are created equally. So I'm just going through that. And I've actually been really enjoying, what did I find? Oh, okay. oh, that's right. I did find a cookie <laughs> just shoved within the cloths. And I said, nope, that's not good. It's actually horrible. Why am I eating this? But I got to finish it. It's not a good idea. I said, absolutely not. I compl- immediately regret my decision <laughs> to eat that. But what am I going to do with the rest? You know what I mean? Too lazy to get up and throw it away. So I just ate it. Anyway, I digress. Decluttering, it has some kind of effect on me, okay? Some kind of effect on all of us where all of our clutter is talking to us. All of our things have something to say. And all this stuff in the closet, you know what it was saying to me? Declutter me. You don't use me. (laughs) I don't know what it was saying. It was saying, why do you have this much crap if you don't use it? So that's what I'm keeping. I don't know why. Oh, oh, you know why I'm dancing with my shoes on? (laughs) I'm dancing because I'm listening to some good jams. And that's what gets me pumped. I almost listened to a Crime Weekly podcast. I like listening to them. They're my fave. They do deep dives. But anyway, they had a new series out but only part one was out at the time and it was I say this it was only two hours long and I was like I need more than that and I don't want to be left on a cliffhanger so (laughs) I just I just pumped some good old jams to get me through and really that's the best thing I found something in the towel that I thought was a bug so then I decided no I'm definitely not going through that it's not even worth it so gross I can't even believe I'm going to find a 500 dead bugs in here and I just can't mentally prepare myself for that right now so I put it pushed it off to the side anyway so Instead of listening to Crime Weekly, I'm just jamming out to, I was listening to Dan Plus Shay. I know there it's Dan and Shay, but whenever I ask Google to play it, I, I say Dan Plus Shay because that's what they say. It's a thing. And so they came out with, I think they have a new album out. By the way, why do, why does every Nerf ball look like this? Why does every ball, a foam ball, always have some kind of bite out of it? Which is Why? And how, also how, (laughs) like as soon as you bring it home from the store, just immediately a chunk is out of it. So anyway, that was getting to me. So Dan Plaché, also Russell Dickerson. Uh, Anyway, the Dan Plaché has a new album out and their song Bigger Houses, if you haven't heard it yet. Oh my heavens, it is so good. And ironically, I love it so much, even though I have a bigger house than my old house. But also, we were in need of a bigger house. We got got a big people. We got a lot of people. And then, you know, I I see these accounts that are like, we live in 100 square feet and we're a family of 17. And I'm like, oh my gosh, I bet you're saving so much money on mortgage. I bet you are not wasting your time cleaning anything. (laughs) You know what I mean? There's so many pros and, and cons to everything, but... You know, you live your life the way that you want to live it. And anyway, that song is just so good. It it, it hits all the feels. And if you haven't heard it, just check it out. Um, I, I love Dan Plaché. I think they're fantastic. But then the other album I was listening to, well, not album, just a playlist, is Russell Dickerson. It's always a jam. Gavin DeGraw always hits. Whatever music you love, I always think, oh, I need to put a playlist together on Spotify or something because like a good all my favorite jams, you know, some oldies too. I really love old 90s country. I say old 90s. Oh my gosh, it hurts my heart to even say that out loud. Old 90s. Love 90s. Love 80s music too. They don't make music like they did in the 80s. They really don't. And there's this one Russell Dickerson song in particular where he's got, he like breaks out the saxophone and it kind of sounds like an 80s jam. And I feel like that's why I love it so much. Anyway, it's fantastic. And speaking of, I was actually talking to one of my brothers about it this past weekend. We had a lot of family stuff going on this weekend, and he was telling me about a band, Ghost Town. Let me see if I have that right. Hold up. I am incorrect. It is Ghost Hounds, you people. Like, isn't the internet amazing that we can just find people like this? Ghost Hounds. I guess it's a band. It's like a country-style band. They sound... 
and they sound incredible. My mic cut me off. I can't even, they should be on the radio right now. They should be winning CMT awards. They sound so good. So if you're, I, if you're in the mood for music, just check them out. Okay. I didn't know this was going to turn into like my favorite jams. Okay. Anyway, found some dead snake skin in Wentworth's room. <laughs> I don't want to, I don't know what the heck to do with this. I was like, this is so gross. It smells bad. I don't even want to touch it, but it needs to go. It needs to go in the garbage. Don't think that like, oh, I just found snakeskin. There must be a snake somewhere. No, they found the snakeskin outside and that's like half of it. Okay. It used to be much longer. Anyway, little by little, it's like just disintegrating, whatever. So Wentworth wanted to keep it. Oh man, boys, you know, they're cut from a different cloth. I tell you. So we said, okay, you can keep it, whatever, I don't care. But now that I'm cleaning, it's like crumbled pieces. I had to vacuum it up. And oh my gosh, this vacuum, I don't, I'll talk about that in, in just a minute because, oh, I have a lot to say. But anyway, the snake skin, just why? Also, no thank you, you know? So I had to throw that away immediately. It made me feel really good to get that out of this space. And you will see, you might be thinking, oh, Wentworth's room looks so great. Oh, you'll see. Um, I don't know if you have seen it. I filmed decluttering his room. Oh my gosh. Satisfying before and after, if you ask me. So that'll be in the vlog I just posted or the next vlog. Um, I don't know how I'm posting stuff. So <laughs> uh, anyway, so yeah, his room looks really great right now, but that's only because I have recently decluttered it. Well, I say I, we recently decluttered it, he and I together. Moving on to some essential oils. Uh, fragrances, if you will, some essential fragrances. <laughs> I don't know. D mm, fragrance oils. I think that's what they're called. Fantastic. I actually, and I'm going to film today. So I'll be sharing the, the new oils that I got. I can't stop myself. No, no one can stop me. What's the song? That is not it. Oh, embarrassing. Can't stop me. You know what I'm trying to say. <laughs> Why don't I know the words to that? I feel like you know what I'm talking about. <laughs> Wolfgang is sleeping. He's probably like dreaming. Like, I don't even know. Okay. Is that Elton John? Probably not. Anyway, the fragrance oils, they're so good. Why did I start singing that? Oh, you can't stop me because I want all of the fragrance oils. They were having a good sale. And so that's how I justified it. Hashtag completely justified because the sale was so good. And I buy them in the four pack bundles and they are from the Magic Candle Company, if you don't know what I'm talking about. I have fallen in love with these oils. I have, you know, normal essential oils, but I find that I don't diffuse them nearly as much as I reach for these. So I was like, okay, if I'm actually using them, totally worth spending the money and they're not crazy expensive and I buy them in the bundles the four pack so you save money that way and then wait for a sale I feel like she's always got a sale going on uh so yeah anyway and they have a ton of scents a ton I spoiler alert I got some fall scents and I'm excited <laughs> like they're so good okay oh my gosh my couch has pen marks on it did you see that yeah how do you get those out Hairspray, I feel like hairspray might work, or alcohol. I don't want to ruin my couch, though. I also have couch cleaner, and you're, I'm supposed... Okay, so when we initially bought the couch, you if you were here for that dilemma, oh my gosh, thanks for hanging around for so long, being a good friend. So if you were there for that, you know we waited a long time for these couches. So when we were finally bought these couches, the guy gives us a cleaning kit, and he's like, okay, so, you know, wax it or whatever you do. Once every three months. And here I am like, you know, like you've never met me before. I'm never going to do this. <laughs> but I'm sitting there like, oh, every three months. Okay, awesome. That sounds great. Thank you so much. That's This is great, right? No. How long has it been? Probably a year that we've had the couches. At least. Wolfgang's 10 months old. So, yeah. I feel like, right, a year? <laughs> Probably. I don't know. It's got to be close to that. It's got to be at least 10 months. I don't think we had a baby when I got him. I could be wrong. I'm probably wrong. I can't even remember what is life. Like literally the past 10 months of my life have been such a blur. I can't. My brain barely works. One day I feel like it'll work again. But today's not that day. Anyway, so we've had the couches short story long forever. And I have yet to use the cleaning products on them. Oh, I mean, I like spot clean them, but not with the couch cleaner. 
He's like, yeah, do it at nighttime so no one sits on him. I'm like, I don't. I, maybe next year, you know, <laughs> maybe next year. Okay, so you now you see the dilemma I have with all these windows in my house. I've got all these sliders, all these windows, and listen, also a lot of kids. So they use their hands to open it a lot, or they bang on the windows because they're little itty bitty ones. And anyway, so we've always we always have spots and dots on these, and this vacuum, I tell you, amazing. So cool. My triceps weren't hurting. I wasn't, I mean, I did start sweating because I was outside cleaning, but I wasn't sweating because of the actual cleaning that I was, do you know what I mean? Do you know what I'm trying to say? I think you get it. But, and also it left my windows super clean. So I guess the, I mean, I don't know whether I should attribute that to the vinegar Windex. Although I'm pretty sure you can clean windows with just vinegar, but then hat, I don't know. I guess you can do it. I've heard people do it. Also, another hack to clean mirrors in a bathroom, you're supposed to turn the lights off in the bathroom before you clean the mirrors because the light, you know, emits heat and it dries up the cleaning solution before you're able to clean it. I mean, I don't know how big your mirrors are in your bathroom, (laughs) but I did hear someone say that. So just a little tip. Oh, and another tip. Don't go outside. This how long was I out there? Two minutes. Two minutes in the Florida sunshine heat. Literally, it's so humid. It's just so, people don't understand. They're like, oh, okay, we get it. It's hot. Uh, The humidity is what kills us, okay? We literally step outside. For me, I don't know. I, I just always thought, oh, I'm a sweaty girl. But maybe I just live in the wrong climate. Is everyone this sweaty in Florida? Or am I a special case? I sweat, insta sweat is what I call it. Step outside, instant sweat. Insta sweat. Walk to the mailbox, insta sweat. Front door to the door of my car, insta sweat. Won't even talk about how hot the dang steering wheel is. (laughs) But pros and cons to living in Florida because I tell you what, yes, we have beaches, but if you don't live on the beach, It's not like you can enjoy it all the time. You know what I mean? It's like, oh, you live in Florida. But I get, you know, obviously pros. We live where other people vacation, you know? So we have the option to do those things. And, you know, living in Tampa, I live in Tampa, Florida. So there is always a lot to do here. We have a lot of, lot going on. We've got theme parks. We've got all kinds of kids museums. And we really love living here. But also in the back of my mind, I'm like, maybe one day we'll move to the mountains because I think I'm ready for it. I don't know. I just think I just love sweaters so much. It's that fashion weather, you know? Speaking of fashion weather, well, never mind. Should I share? <laughs> I don't know. Here's all the dirty water that I've cleaned just from the several windows that I've done so far. And it makes me feel so good about the progress I'm making around my house. Sometimes I can have a tidy home. The windows are just musty and dusty. And I think, ugh, everything looks a mess. You know what I mean? It just, it's cleaning the floors and cleaning the windows slash walls that make a, such a huge impact. So it's good to like have a device like this. I don't know. Is, is it faster, more efficient? I could argue both things, but it's like sometimes I just use the e-cloth and it's good enough. It's just like any other cleaner. Oh, this cleaner is so great, blah, blah, blah. But sometimes I literally use soap and water and it's just as good. You know what I mean? So use whatever the heck you want to use is all I'm trying to say. You don't need all the fancy gadgets, even though sometimes it is fun to have them. And I certainly am using one right now. It's just good to test some stuff out. Anyway, so what I was going to say about fashion weather, I took the girls back to school shopping yesterday, all the kids really. And I went to a shoe store, a fancy one, DSW. Okay. We don't always go there, but if it's back to school time, it's a special time. I got Meredith the cutest little, um, shoe. They're like sparkly shoes, glitter shoes. And she calls them her princess shoes. They are so cute. She wants to wear them. I'm like, these are your special school shoes. She doesn't understand. She just sees shoes and she's like, why don't I get to wear them right the heck now? Anyway. So we were at there and they didn't, apparently Avelina only wants Nikes. They didn't have Nikes there. I guess they don't sell them there. So they sell them at Kohl's. So we have a, a few more places to go to before we're completely finished, 
finished shopping. And so maybe I'll share a haul with you if you're interested in that. I did last year and I feel like you guys enjoyed it. So I guess I'll do the same thing this year. Anyway, we also went to Once Upon a Child. Okay. And just Avelina is really picky about shoes and Eleanor too, whatever it is there. It's very hard for them to find shoes that are comfortable that they like. So anyway, uh, my little ones, they couldn't care less. Wentworth specifically could not care less. Like (laughs) last year, I swear he was wearing shoes two sizes too small. Not that he didn't have other shoes to wear, but those were his favorite. I'm like, what? I, your toes, there's no way your toes fit in here. Anyway, he always loved them. (laughs) I finally got rid of them when I was decluttering. So anyway, what was I saying? Okay. So short story long, found some really amazing, cool shoes at DSW. They were Betsy Johnson. And okay. The actual story goes that Avelina wasn't, was done looking for shoes. So she was in the clearance section, just kind of playing around with, I brought one of their cousins with it. Well, I brought two cousins with us, but we had a heavy load. Okay. So anyway, they were playing around with the shoes and some, other gal who was shopping in the clearance section she was you know chit-chatting with us and she found a pair of Betsy Johnson shoes and was like "Ooh, you should you know you guys should try these on right and so they they tried them on and showed me and I was like those are the cutest things I've ever seen if you follow me on Instagram you saw them for real they were so adorable so that led me to later that evening find you know going to thread up trying to find Betsy Johnson stuff <laughs> cuz they were like fun and funky and colorful and like totally Sarah Jessica Parker or no I guess I should say Carrie Bradshaw style so I was trying to find something on thread up but then you know the rabbit hole of thread up didn't find any cool shoes like that well I mean they did have cool shoes but not my size But anyway, I ended up finding a really cool sweater. (laughs) So that ties the sweater weather in. (laughs) Do you see where I'm going with this? Uh, 10 minutes later and you're like, oh, you like sweaters. You should see the sweater I got. So when it comes in, I'll show you. And that'll be exciting for me. (laughs) Because I'll get to wear it. Okay. So, oh, I've moved on to the kitchen. And this place, I've seen worse, honestly. And you can see that I, I decluttered Wentworth's room and his desk. I needed to get it out of his room. It's a long story. I explain it in the uh, the video where I declutter. So I won't go into it here. But his desk, I needed it out of his room. It was kind of just becoming a catch-all. And, oh, okay, here I am eating cake. Because why? I mean, obviously... I need to eat coconut cake and I had a slice of brownie and that's what happens. You take one sliver at a time. Did you see that sliver I took? Just one sliver at a time. And before you know it, all throughout the day, if you leave it on the counter like I do, I just leave it out. And it's probably the biggest mistake I can make because every time I walk by it, I'm like, hmm, what should I eat? And then I just take a little sliver. And before you know it, the whole platter has gone. And I'm like, oh, that's why my stomach hurts. <laughs> anyway, do you guys do that? Ah, I hope you do. I hope I'm not the only one, the only crazy one. Are you guys also in the midst of back to school shopping in the midst of like, what's your least favorite thing to shop for back to school or just all of it? (laughs) You know, it's a lot. I mean, it doesn't have to be, I guess, all the supplies. And then I just like to get them fresh. I want to make sure that they have fresh bottoms and a lot of them need them because they're, they've grown from the previous year. Okay. Um, what, what was I talking about? So someone just came to my door. So I'm all kinds of like, Oh, what's happening. I'm cleaning my house. That's what I'm doing. And I'm glad that you're here hanging out with me while I get it done. Sorry. My hair is like, it's, I put it up weird. So it's like scaring me every time I scare too easy. Okay. Um, dishes, dishes. I've seen worse. Speaking of dishes last night, I made curry. It was the spiciest curry I've ever made. Undoubtedly the spiciest curry I've ever made in my entire life. Oh my gosh. We were all sweating at the dinner table. We were all sweating. Oh my gosh. It was so funny. Avelina was like, mom, were you trying to just make sure we were all hydrated? Cause we were like, all you know, cause it was hot. So we were drinking extra water and oh my gosh, the kids loved it though. Surprisingly enough, they just, <laughs> they just doubled up on the rice portion. It was so good. It is a recipe that I've shared before. I feel like, okay, I feel like I've shared so many good recipes with you, but sometimes they just get lost in the abyss. I should make a video of like all my favorites 
But then I just also think, oh my gosh, there it would be like 50 recipes and I don't even know. Anyway, this is a favorite and it is immortalized on Instagram. If you're scrolling way back in my reels, I made a reel like forever ago, years and years ago. And it is Al's famous chicken curry. Not that they're labeled, but <laughs> that's what I call it. And I even deviate from that recipe. You guys know I deviate from literally every recipe. So anyway, I was at... Where did we go? Oh, we were finished back. Okay, so this is another short story long. Okay, so we were, how, how, where does it, where can I begin? I wanted curry and I made some kind of Indian chicken, butter chicken-ish earlier that week and it just didn't hit the spot. Not the same. Okay, so all week I was like, I just want curry. I want to make curry. So Next time I was at the grocery store, I got potatoes. I thought that's all I needed to make curry. Surely I have everything else. It's like staple ingredients that I usually have on hand. I was wrong. I needed curry paste, okay? So later while we were back to school shopping, I think I was at Target getting one last pair of shoes for the girls, for Eleanor, like a slide on pair. And I thought, okay, perfect. I'll go there, get her shoes, and I'll grab the curry paste. They don't sell it there. Uh, why? They used to, not anymore. So I was like, okay, on the way home, I'll stop at Whole Foods. Never go to Whole Foods. Well, I say never, probably like once a year, go to Whole Foods if there's like one ingredient. Last time I went there was probably a year ago when I needed like five spice. Five spice, I think that's what it's called, right? Nowhere around me had it, Googled it. Apparently Whole Foods had it. I was like, okay, great. It's going to be great. Went to Whole Foods. I had Meredith with me because we ended up having to go back and exchange a pair for shoes. It's whatever. So Meredith was with me. And this is important for later in the story. (laughs) So I went into Whole Foods on a mission. One thing. I only needed one item, that curry paste. It's a different brand that I've never used before. That should have been my first guess. Like, hey, whatever. So anyway, it's a different brand. It's organic. It is twice as much as what I pay at a a normal store. But I was like, okay, whatever. It's here. It's on the way home. So whatever. I'll spend the extra three and a half dollars for this. It was like six and a half dollars for a little jar of curry paste. I don't want to talk about it. It's like the worst, right? Six and a half dollars. At this point, I can like go out to eat and buy curry, right? So even though I don't, and I think everything homemade is always tastes better. And you know what I forgot to put on my curry last night? Cilantro. And I could literally cry about it. Another thing I don't want to talk about. Oh, it would have elevated the dish so much. Hopefully we have some leftover. I'm not sure. I left it out last night. Alex had friends over. So hopefully they didn't devour it. And if they did, I'm just going to make more. Anyway, so went to Whole Foods to get the curry paste. Thankfully they had it. But I had Meredith with me. And she saw some gummy blocks needed them. I was like, oh, hey, they're Annie's, so you know they're expensive. I figured they would be expensive. Uh, so check out, oh my gosh, my total was $24. $24? For what? I said, what? <laughs> it was the curry paste, her gummies, and then I got, I well, part of it is my fault too, $3.00. And 99 cents for a grocery bag. Did I need the grocery bag? No. But it was at the checkout. And that's how they get you. It's an impulse buy. And I was like, that is the coolest grocery bag I've ever seen. I don't buy a lot of grocery bags for myself. And maybe I'll put it in a giveaway. Maybe I'll buy another one for you for a giveaway. I actually really love it. I don't buy a lot for myself of grocery bags. And now I'm trying to think, do I? I feel like I, well, obviously I have to at some point because I have an abundance. But anyway, I feel like most of them are given to me or like thrifted, whatever. So I, I just, I, lo- I fell in love with this one and I was like, this is the coolest. So I bought it. Anyway, my total was $24. I can't get it out of my head. I'm like, oh my gosh, great. Like, that's crazy. That's crazy. I don't even know it. Oh my, I couldn't speak. I just wanted to walk out <laughs> and say, and say, forget it. I don't even want to make curry anymore. But anyway, ended up coming home, making the curry dish. No regrets. Well, obviously I have some regrets because one, the cost of the curry paste and two, $24 for what? I don't even, how much were the gummies? Oh, it hurts. Anyway, it was a pretty large box, but still, my gosh, Annie's, how much are you profiting? Okay. 
So making the curry paste last night, and it calls for like a tablespoon of curry paste, maybe even less. I always add more. And then at this point, I added more. And I was like, well, I might as well just add the rest of the jar because what the heck am I going to do with the rest of it? Oh, I don't know, Kim, maybe make curry another day with it. But I normally don't. So it normally just rots away in my fridge. So I figured I'll just use the whole thing and be done with it. I was feeling pretty good about myself at this point. Okay, so I used all the curry paste and a curry powder, ginger goes in, garlic goes in, cocoa aminos or soy sauce if you have it. And then I cook up an onion, chicken and throw in some chopped potatoes. Let the potatoes cook. It's great. I smelled it once I added all the spices. Oh, and chicken broth. Oh, and a can of coconut milk. <laughs> anyway, oh, I'm telling you a recipe while I'm cleaning a toilet. This is weird. Okay, so it is such a great recipe. I promise you, it's so good. So it just don't add a whole jar of curry paste and you'll be fine. So anyway, I did that, added everything in. I stir it up and I always smell it. I always give it a good whiff to make sure it's a good flavor profile, right? So I give it a sniff and I'm like, this is going to be great. Okay, flash to us at the dinner table eating the curry, all of us sweating. Not just like an upper lip sweat. It's like forehead. Oh my gosh, this is so hot. <laughs> oh my gosh, the pain receptors in the back of my mouth are burning. Oh, also, did you know that heat is not a flavor? It is, it's just pain receptors in the back of your mouth. It's like the, the, the farthest... It's not a taste, but it's the far, it's, it's in the back of your mouth. It's pain receptors. Look it up. I don't know. I learned it in, in, uh, what class was I in? Like anatomy and physiology. It was like my first year in college. Anyway, that one stuck with me because I was like, that's blowing my mind. That is not a taste. Anyway, I liked it. Loved it. Wanted some more of it. Actually had two helpings. Avelina loved it. She's into spice. Eleanor had probably triple portion of rice (laughs) to cut it down, but Anyway, it was a hit. Just don't don't add the whole thing. I was feeling so good about myself. And then we were eating it. I was like, oh, ooh, it's a little spicy. And then the more we ate it, we were like, oh, my gosh, this is a lot spicy. Wow, that was a really good story. <laughs> Thanks for sharing. You guys ever have things like that happen where dinner just doesn't go exactly as planned? Normally, I like we like spicy things, but that was... That was just too much. Okay, so I have clearly cleaned the kitchen to its entirety. And I always feel good when I have a clean kitchen. Oh, here's where I start the troubles with the vacuum. So, oh gosh, sorry, Bubba. Okay, um, I'm moving to Eleanor's room and it's looking pretty good, right? She normally has a lot going on. She's my artist, so... She's got paint everywhere all over her floors. She actually is pretty good about cleaning it. And did you know acrylic paint comes out of floors with just soap and water and elbow grease, some good old elbow grease. And she does that every once in a while when I'm I'm like, this is out of hand. You need to tidy this up. You're ruining my floors. Okay. So when she gets her bigger room, I'm not sure the solution we're going to have for that. We thought, oh, maybe doing it something on the back porch for her. I don't really know, but something has to happen. So anyway, I've. Uh, I have this vacuum, right? I got it from Costco. You guys were with me. Like when, how long has it been? I feel like I had the baby. I feel like it's been less than a year. Less than a year? It's gotta be. Gotta be less than a year. Um, I'm pretty sure it's broken. This is the shark ultra light upright, something like that. Mm. It's not a shark. Is it? It is. It's not an upright. Don't talk to me. Don't ask me questions. I don't have the answers to. You saw it. It's a shark. It's the one they sell at Costco. And it was really amazing up until the day I was cleaning with it the other day. And so I was cleaning Eleanor's room and I was like, it's not like sucking everything up. What the heck is going on? So I thought, okay, it's clogged. Let me deal with this. It's got to be clogged, right? Go through. Oh, maybe there's too much stuff around the, the brush head. Like what's going on? Anyway... I don't know. It just wasn't. And then I thought, oh, I feel like it's working. No, I don't think it was. And then later in the day, I went outside and I was vacuuming and I went upstairs and I was vacuuming. And uh, well, needless to say, it went kaput. I don't know what the heck is wrong. And I feel like I need to call Shark. But then how long am I going to be on hold with customer service? All of that stuff. You know what I mean? I do need to figure it out because that's our only vacuum. And now... 
I'm stuck. You'll see, I fix it enough to clean up here where it was like sucking some stuff up. But then later in the day, maybe it wasn't sucking anything up. Like, I mean, clearly you'll see in a second it was sucking some stuff up, but Anyway, I moved upstairs. This is a whole house clean with me. A whole house extreme disaster clean with me. And oh my gosh, upstairs at first glance, you're like, oh, it's not that bad. <clears throat> and I did want to clean the the windows up here too, but I ended up not. <laughs> There's so many stickers on there. I just, I didn't want to deal with it and I forgot about it. And the day progressed. And I was like, I am kind of over cleaning, you know, when you just clean enough. And for me, I'm like, I'm, I've done enough. It's good enough, you know? I, I was at that point. This toilet. Okay. So I'm using that Blue Land toilet tab. It fizzes up, but I, I, I got video of it and I was like, I can't look at this disgusting toilet any longer. So I just cut it out for you. You're welcome. So I love the Blue Land cleaning products. Um, I got those toilet tabs from Costco. Not sure I would do the toilet tabs again. They're huge. And I have yet to break down the cost of like how much it cost me <clears throat> for the tabs versus how much it is per tab. I haven't done that cost yet or that um, research. <laughs> I haven't done the math on that. But I don't know if I would buy the toilet tabs again, but I love all of the other cleaning products. I love the laundry. I love the dishwasher. Ooh, dishwasher tabs are fantastic. And the, you know, spray cleaning tabs, those are great. Anyway, just FYI, in case you were wondering, I do like, I like the toilet tabs. I just don't know if it's cost effective. So anyway, that's the only caveat. I think they work great. They smell great. But um, cost-wise, I'm going to have to do the math on that. Okay, anyway, so up here, that bathroom was full of Avelina stuff. I don't know what the heck. You guys, she like moved upstairs and she was living her best life because when they came in to work on her closet, she has asthma. So I'm like, you can't be down here. All this dust and stuff, they're working on it. And we thought, oh, they're going to be done with it in just a few days. No, you guys, it's been like two months just the closet, not the, not the addition. They came in to start the closet to make her closet will be a hallway and then to break Wentworth's closet in half to make a closet for both of the rooms. Anyway, they're still not done and they messed up. So they're, it's, not, they're, it's not even close. So I'm like, okay, we can't live like this. You can't have two areas of the house that you're completely making a disaster of. It's just too much for her to keep up with, two different areas. So um, up here... I didn't know that she made it her own. <laughs> I mean, I knew she did in the um, the theater room, but not the bathroom. I didn't know she had all that crap up there. So I took we took it all out, and she organized it into her bathroom and her bedroom and stuff. So anyway, all is good, but it surprised me that she had so much up here. But I guess it had been a while, so, you know, stuff mm. accumulates. And then this table, I let Meredith paint on it, and it's great. Like, the dot paints that I got I for summertime fun – fantastic she loves them so much and then those papers um they're great too but obviously you know we get paint on the table and that happens so I'm just going in whatever I sprayed on it if I sprayed anything is it soap and water I don't remember I'm just going in with a sponge and just scrubbing it all off some of the paint stained the table and that just it, it is what it is I'm sure if I use a magic eraser or something or maybe some kind of um something with bleach in it, it would get it off but I'm not that in, like I don't care that much it's a play table I feel like it will look like this it's no big deal so I don't I don't you know it's good enough and that's the motto of Kim's cleaning service good enough you know so this is the second time I have a meltdown about this vacuum and I think what the heck why isn't it working so I'm like pounding it out finally cleared it out feeling good about myself honestly I was like proud of myself oh yeah <laughs> I cleaned it I fixed it no, I didn't fix it. I mean, clearly you can see I fixed it enough to like where it's sucking this stuff up before it had no suction. It wasn't picking up anything. And honestly, I guess I should just be happy that I was able to clean these rails out because they were so gross upstairs. Like, you know, little bugs get in and it's just gross. It's not great. And then all this dirt and stuff too. So I'm, I was happy to just get that done. And that made me happy it's good enough I didn't clean the windows there were a bunch of stickers popcorn all over the floor that's our life but again the suction on this thing good enough to pick up the popcorn right so I don't know what happened between then and in two minutes where I go to vacuum the couch up and zero suction I don't know what that what the heck happened I don't ask me I don't know 
But apparently, whatever happened broke the dang vacuum. And I I don't know what to do about it. I guess I can call customer service, see how good they are. I don't know if it has a year warranty or something. I didn't buy anything extra, I don't think. I'm going to have to just figure it out. I'm going to have to call and just Google it and, I don't know, waste my time, essentially, and just end up buying a new vacuum. I do have that, um, the Bissell Crosswave, which, yes, it vacuums and... Yes, it uh, sweeps and mops and vacuums all in one. And I love it, but it doesn't have the same suction vacuum power as like a normal vacuum would. So it's it, that's like good for quick things like pickup. And I love that, that it does three in one. But if I want a good suction job, I'm going to grab the vacuum. Also, it has the little hose where I can get in between my sliding glass stores in, in between the tracks. So Anyway, if you're wondering, like, oh, don't you already have? Well, yeah, but you know, not all vacuums are created equal. They're all they're good in their different ways, and I love them both the same, but just for different reasons. Like my kids. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Wolfgang is waking up. How long was that? It was a super, super short nappy. Yes, it was a super short nappy. Everyone say good good afternoon, Wolfgang. Good afternoon. All right, more stuff up here. I told you guys. It's been summertime. The kids have slumber parties often and they, you know, all the kids get into stuff. They play stuff. They've got toys up here. They're creative. They cut up shreds of paper. I don't know what they do, honestly. Living their best life. Wish I could say the same. <laughs> I'm glad that they're having such a good time as kids, right? Oh, I feel like when I was a kid, summertime, I was bored a lot of the time. We did our best, but my gosh, I don't know. I wonder if my kids think the same. Like, oh, I'm so bored. I saw a meme the other day. I shared me Monday the other day for the first time in forever on Instagram. And there was one in particular. It was like, you know, you spent all day with the kids at the water park. You brought them out to brunch and you brought them to the kids museum and the park and whatever. You spent literally all day tending to the kids and making sure they have a good time. And then at the end of the day, your kid's like, I'm bored or this is the worst day ever. <laughs> I'm like, oh my gosh, that's so funny. Uh, anyway, okay. So this is the part where I lose my mind for the third time about this vacuum. It's not working. And I'm like, what the? Seriously? I'm so over it at this point. Oops, sorry. And I don't know what to do. I, get, I mean, obviously, I'm going to call and whatever. But what a waste of my time. I mean, it's not a waste if they fix it because it's like a $250 vacuum. Eh. But to have that last less than a year, is that how they're making things these days? They just make them to break them. Is that what they say? Nothing is built to last anymore. It's sad. Oh, if you're wondering if my closet is stayed tidy, it has for the most part. That is the back to school stuff. So that doesn't count. And then the mirror. The kids are coming in here all the time. Mostly Wolfgang. I put him down when I'm getting dressed. And he just like puts his hands on the mirror. And so it had a bunch of hand spots. And so I just needed to clean the mirror too. And I just used good old elbow grease for that. Uh, now I am tidying up. Well, actually now I just put Wolfgang down to, you know, crawl around and stuff. Oh my gosh. he's I could just eat him up. He's so cute. I just love him so much. And he said duck the other day. <laughs> Because, like, we get ducks in our backyard. So we were pointing at them. I was like, duck, duck, quack, quack. And he said, duck. I mean, obviously, it sounded more like duck. <laughs> but he totally said it. Kind of like Meredith's first word was squirrel. Obviously, it didn't sound anything like squirrel. She was like, girl, <laughs> girl, whatever it was. Oh, good old times. All right. Anyway, my bedroom was a disaster. I still have yet to clean that rug and I just shoved it out of sight, out of mind. I shoved it behind the rocking chair and uh, maybe one day I'll clean it. Maybe I won't. <laughs> we'll get to it. I thought about pressure washing it even this day, but again, I ran out of time. And after you're cleaning for a couple of hours, few hours, this took me four hours, four and a half, five, I would say closer to five because I think I had four and a half hours of footage that I had to condense down. So, it took me a while to do, and uh, maybe, I don't know, you guys, I don't know if I need to clean faster, I don't know if I need to clean less, I don't know if I'm shoving too much into one video, I, I'm doing my best over here. What are your favorite cleaning products? 
What's something that you your go to every time and you're like, yeah, whatever it works and I like it. You know. <laughs> yeah. Um anyway, I feel like I have my faves, but there's always, you know, stuff popping up that I'm like, "Oh, maybe I should try that." But then I don't know. We'll see. We'll see about it all. All right. Moving to the bathroom for whatever reason. Oh, I still, I didn't put away the stuff from vacation. It's been like a month, I feel like, since we've been home. Not quite. Oh, but then also we're having our last hoorah. We're going to spend a couple of days um, at Disney slash the water parks because we got a good deal because we're Florida residents and all that good stuff. So instead of just spending the money on like a one-day pass, we bought a multi-day pass it's like a four-day pass and then you get I mean it's wild you get four days at the parks and then four extra days for the water parks and stuff it's pretty cool and so we did that and the only caveat to that is that it expires like Wolfgang's birthday basically the end of September so we have to use it pretty soon here and we I just probably an oversight it was such a good deal we're like yeah 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 we'll do it we'll do it now we're thinking wow, like Orlando isn't as close as we thought, you know, so we are trying to figure out days when we can go, like around everyone's schedule and all of that good stuff, so hopefully we get all the days in, we're doing two more just before school starts, it'll be the last hoorah, it'll be a good time for everyone, we'll we'll be sweating our bumps off, uh, riding, it's a small world, (laughs) just trying to catch some AC. What's your favorite ride at Disney? Have you ever been to Disney? Alex had never been until he was an adult. And yeah, I don't know. I'm not like huge in Disney, but I do think it's fun for the kids. I don't know. So they have to be a good age for it. I mean, they, they cater toward all ages. And that's what's hard about our family is that we have all ages. <laughs> and so, you know, different parks cater to different ages and or different parts of the parks, I should say. So I don't know. It's always a struggle trying to make sure that everyone has a good time. And oftentimes we split up because, you know, lines and that good stuff. But OK, I restocked our fridge outside with some waters, just tidied that up a little bit out there because it was in dire need of it. And then this the Bissell is what I was talking about earlier. Love using it. Sometimes I don't always clean it out after I use it and that is the absolute worst smells like a dumpster and that's what happened this time it had been in there for several days you know last time I had cleaned my floors which is never as often as I want wish that I did it some days I stay on top of it I'm like every day or every other day I do it and then other days I'm like oh my gosh how long has it been (laughs) a week two weeks I went so I don't think it had been this long for that one so I, nor- I just uh, cleaned it out, cleaned out the tank, filled it up. And normally I use the Bissell solution. Someone also told me they used Aunt Fanny, Aunt Franny, whatever I just showed you. Uh, they have a floor cleaner and I guess they use that solution too. Whatever floats your boat, whatever you like. And I use the natural Bissell solution, not my favorite scent. I actually didn't like it at all. So I still have, I may have donated it as a matter of fact, because I did not like it one single bit. So I'm going through just cleaning the floors and I realized this is not the most effective way to film myself cleaning floors. This is kind of crazy, but I didn't want to keep it at the slow speed of normal speed. So I sped it up and now it's just, it's given me all all kinds of feels and not in a great way. So don't worry, I cut it off. Speaking of favorite rides at theme parks, this is not one of them. But, oh, oh, and we were getting ready for dinner and I said, girls, come set the table. And so they normally come out and uh, Eleanor slipped. (laughs) I'm like, you know, I'm mopping. Step lightly. This stuff um, dries pretty fast, but I had just gone over that area. So she slipped. She's so funny. Straight into a split. All right, moving on. Hey, I said I stopped it, but that was a big old lie. This is normal speed, so I feel like that's fine. There's also, I'm trying to show you how effective this stuff is. I don't know what this is. I don't know how long it's been on my floor, but check it. It just cuts that stuff and it cleans. Like it really does a great job of cleaning. Some people ask a lot of questions about it. Does it leave streaks on your floors? Not usually. And I use it on these floors, even though they mul- they're multicolor. So I wouldn't be able to like necessarily see them. Maybe I would. But then also on the hard wood floor, um, those are dark floors. 
and I don't notice a difference either. And okay, now that I'm thinking of the cleaner I'm using, it is the Bissell Crosswave Cleaner, but it's the sanitized one and it's for multi-floor. So hardwood, floor, and tile. So that's what I'm using and that's what I like. But that is the end. Thank you guys so much for watching and hanging out and cleaning with me. Hope you got some good cleaning done. If not, I just enjoy hanging out with you in general. If you want to subscribe, put a little happy in your day and I'll see you next time. Bye.